Hello, welcome to the Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market to help build wealth over time so we can all become self-made millionaires. Now, my videos, if you've seen my channel before, my videos are geared more towards analyzing different companies to see if they're good investments or not, taking a look to see how much money you could earn in the future, you know, in dividend income and how much you could earn in the capital appreciation through uh, investing in different companies and how much you could have earned in the past if you invest in certain companies. So we, we we've done a lot of videos on those particular topics, but I wanted to start a new playlist that just talked about kind of current events, what's going on in the stock market, just talk about the news and what's going on. So we're starting off here with this with this video, two stocks on the market's naughty list that could be set for a 2022 comeback. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. And also, as a reminder, don't forget, we got the Future Self-Made Millionaire t-shirt on Amazon. 10 different colors available, uh, t-shirts for men and women, and six different sizes available. So check this out, link down below in the description. All right, so moving back over here to the two stocks. Um, this article is from December of 2021, so not too old. Uh, the two stocks that are referenced in here, uh, the first one right here, you got Nancy uh, Tengler, I think I'm pronouncing that right, CEO and Chief Investment Officer of Laffer Tengler Investments. Uh, what she's looking at is the company Block, the company formerly known as Square. The shares, I guess, in 2021 have tumbled 23% right here, according to the article. Uh, and according to Nancy, this, uh, this company that is in a perfect space for disruption, but they seem to have faced a number of hurdles this year, this year being 2021. Not just recently regulatory concerns about buy now, pay later, but there are worries uh, about slowdowns in uh, payments, excuse me, in payments, and as fiscal semi checks, semi checks uh, begin to fade, so um, this is basically an economic slowdown. Just overall in 2022, I've, I've I've heard a lot of talk about that. We'll see if it ends up actually playing out, but I definitely have heard some talk about that. So definitely something to be can you know thinking about if you're investing in a company like Block or considering investing in a company like that. But she does highlight here so, uh, the tailwinds for 2022 are now piling up, she says, an e-commerce partnership with TikTok, not sure what the e-commerce partnership is about exactly, and its acquisition of buy now, pay later company Afterpay are two reasons to be bullish according to Tangler. So definitely uh, two uh, big positives right there. To partner up with a company like TikTok, they're blowing up, they're exploding. They haven't been around very long, but they're a massive e uh, me, uh, social media company. So definitely uh, uh, could be some positives right there. Uh, by partnering up with TikTok, and then uh, the acquisition of buy now pay later company Afterpay, that could be a good thing, but it could really drag them down. I've seen I've seen the companies acquire other companies, and they just can't merge them in effectively. They can't get that synergy, that kind of you know that perfect fit into the company to, um, to really benefit from the acquisition. So uh, I've seen plenty of companies do that. You know they 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 acquire a new company, everything fits in perfectly, the execution is excellent. And everything just kind of flows and it's nice and smooth. And I've seen the complete opposite with companies where they just really struggle with it. And it actually kind of brings the company down like a big weight rather than lifting them up to, uh, to new highs. So uh, definitely something to definitely could be a positive with uh, you know taking on Afterpay and the acquisition of that company. But it could be a negative. All depends on how well Block can execute the, uh, the transition and the merger. So, but uh, definitely something to consider here. So definitely take a look at Block if you want, if that's not, if that's the kind of company you're interested in here. Nancy Tangler seems to think it's a, it could be a, a good play here for 2022. Um, also, so the second company, uh, Jewel Financial President Quint uh, Tatro, I think I'm saying that correctly, instead is focusing on uh, the casino stock Las Vegas Sands, which is down more than 35% in 2021. So according to him, um, Las Vegas Sands has recently experienced a double whammy this year, this year again being 2021. Obviously, it's an entertainment name that's going to be in trouble due to COVID, but it's also tied to China. So the stock has really been in the trash heap, um, according to him. Now, the Chinese stocks and companies with exposure to the country, or yet yeah, to the country, have had a bumpy 2021 as Beijing cracked down on certain industries ranging from tech to private education and amid the nation's uneven economic recovery. Las Vegas Sands apparently says right here, Las Vegas Sands um, generates half of its revenue from Macao. I think I'm saying that right, right here, Macao, M-A-C-A-O, a gambling destination off the coast of mainland China. So that they're definitely very China dependent if they got 50% of their revenue coming from China and just that kind of general part of the world. So definitely very China dependent. And he wrote here, I do think travel and gaming will come back, said Tatro. 
Uh, this is a stock that looks fairly cheap and has been beat up, but I think will do well in the coming years. So really what how I think Las Vegas Sands will do well in the coming years is how people react to COVID in 2022 and 2023 and beyond. There's going to be new variants coming out. I just heard of a new Omicron variant not too long ago. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the name of it is. BA2, I think, something, something to that effect. Um, how do people react to it? How do governments react to it? Do they say, yeah, well, I guess, you know, Omicron, or not Omicron, but just COVID in general is here to stay. So we're just going to live our lives and manage it as best we can and be as safe as we can. Or are they going to take the approach of um, there's a new variant, so we have to lock down, mask up, and stay inside and never go anywhere, right? There's two, two extremes there. Get back to normal life or lock up and never come out of your house again. Which one? Or are they going to do something in, in between? Really, you know, I think for Las Vegas Sands to really get back to normal and to really rebound, they're going to need to be on the side of, okay, we just need to get back to normal. And, you know, the society seems to get back to normal. Yeah, there's COVID out there, but be as protected as you can and just live your life as normal uh, beyond that. So I think that's really what Las Vegas Sands needs in order to, to make a really solid recovery in 2022 and 2023 and beyond. So um, if anything, if it's more towards the middle of those two extremes with regards to the reaction to COVID, or if it's more towards the other end where people are really kind of freaking out about it, then Las Vegas Sands, I think, is going to struggle. So um, it's really, it's really, I think it's really COVID dependent. So I think there's definitely some risk there that the author's not mentioning. Um, I think it all depends. So um you know, definitely take a look at both of them. I, I would definitely take a look at both. And really, which one, you know, for me, when, I, when I'm considering making an investment in a company, you know, I look at the company and think to myself, is that a kind of business I would want to own? If I had enough money to start an, uh, a casino, would I want to start a casino? Is that the kind of business I would want to own and run? Um, that's just kind of like my, my first filter in terms of picking out a company to invest in. You don't have to do that, of course. That's just what I like to do. But um, do you see yourself owning uh, a casino stock in your portfolio? Do you see yourself owning a, a payment finance or excuse me, a, a payment processing company like Block? You know, if those are two kinds of companies that you're interested in, definitely check them out. Always, always, always do your own research. Always, um, no one's going to care more about your money than you will. So even if you got these people here, or say they're experts, they're they're top financial people in their companies, and they've been doing this a long time, that does not mean they are right. Um, they still can be wrong. So definitely do your own research and see if it makes sense for you. See if it makes you feel comfortable owning either of these companies or companies uh, similar to them in the same industry or sector, and uh, and then just go from there. So always, always do your own research and homework. So I hope this was helpful for people. I hope this kind of generated some new ideas, new companies to invest in, other places to put your money, and uh, to help build wealth in the stock market over time. So, but again, like I said, always do your own research. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. If you like, you want to see more of these kinds of videos where we just kind of talk about current events and news, uh, what's going on with certain companies, what's going on overall with the stock market, definitely leave a comment down below so I know you liked it. If you didn't like it, also comment down below and say, don't bother doing this. It was a waste of time. You know, whatever the case is, comment down below so I know. And I always want to deliver the videos that you guys like the most. So thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Take care and catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.